Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be creating some Dollar Tree Valentine DIYs. I hope you find tons of inspiration and enjoy today's projects. And if you haven't done so already, make sure to hit that subscribe button right below this video. For our first project, we are using this Dollar Tree metal heart hanging decor piece. I'm going to go ahead and glue that knot closer to the inside of the metal heart so that it'll kind of sit flush. And then I'm using some of these foam roses from Dollar Tree. They had pink, white, and red, and the detail on these are absolutely stunning. I'm going to start by hot gluing a row of pink roses on the inside of the metal heart, and that's going to take 14 pink roses. Then I'll add a row of white roses inside of that, pressing snugly against the other pink roses, and that will take eight white roses. That's going to leave a space in the center for me to add the final pink rose in the middle. And this piece turned out absolutely beautiful. Project number two, I'm using a Dollar Tree 7x7 photo frame and remove the glass insert. I painted that with two coats of white chalk paint, allowing it to dry in between coats. Then I can reinsert that with the chalk side facing down and then go ahead and put the back back into the frame. I'm using some stickers. Now, I think these came from Walmart. I'm gonna place an I at the top left corner and a U at the bottom right. And then I'm using some of Dollar Tree's wood hearts. I'm using all of the same sized hearts. So I'm gonna alternate between the pink and red. And I ended up using six red and eight pink. Now, once I had them fairly close to where I wanted them to be, I did move the U. Well, I actually had to throw that U away because it tore when I pulled it up. But I added another U sticker so that they would all line up. I went back and hot glued each individual heart down, making sure to keep them lined up straight up and down as well as across and then I went over it with my hair dryer to remove any of the glue strands. Now I have seen some beautiful signs with just the hearts on there but I don't think I've seen anything that has the I and the U on there but you guys let me know if you've seen anything similar but I think this turned out super cute and I would love to know what you guys think. For our next project, we will be using one of these fall signs from Dollar Tree. Remove the ribbon that's holding it together, as well as each one of those staples, and then lightly take some sandpaper to go over all of those staple holes to blend them in. Then we're gonna give each one of these signs two coats of white chalk paint on both the front and the back. Once those dry, we're going to be using an oil-based Sharpie to create some stitching around the outline of each one of the signs. This is gonna create a beautiful border. Then we're going to take some of Dollar Tree's window clings and we're gonna add a heart to each one. So I'm just gonna line it up to see which way looks best and it actually fits better if you put the straight sides on the outside. And I put the XO and then a colorful heart and then the love ya. So to attach these, I'm using some Mod Podge and I like to do half of my window cling at a time so I can make sure it gets a nice good seal. And then I'll go over top of that to push any of the air bubbles out as well as go over the top of the entire sign to make sure everything has the same finish. And then I'll do the other half of the window cling. Again, make sure I go over the front of the entire sign. And I'll do that for all three of the signs and then set them to the side to make sure they thoroughly dry. 
Then I'm going to use one of these signs. This actually came from Family Dollar, but sometimes you can find them at Dollar Tree. It measures about 15 and 3 quarters of an inch long, and it's about 2 and a quarter inches wide. I'm going to very carefully remove the metal pieces. Now this one was kind of glued down. So once I peel that off and then I can just, I'm using my Cricut spatula, but you can use like a putty knife or anything like that with a flat edge to remove those. I'm going to sand all of those areas, especially where that glue was. Then I'll give this entire sign two coats of white chalk paint. And once that dries, we're going to use some of these stickers. Now I can't remember if I got these at Family Dollar or Dollar General. The sticker themselves are about an inch and a half wide and an inch and a half tall. And I'm gonna spell out two pieces. So when we put that cute little heart at the top that says love ya, it's gonna say love ya to pieces. Then I'm gonna add another window cling heart on the right hand side and Mod Podge that down. And when I go over the top of that with the Mod Podge, I'm gonna go ahead and go over the entire front of the stickers to seal all of those in. Then you'll need six tumbling tower pieces. We're gonna glue two to the back of each of these signs. You just wanna make sure it's flush to the bottom of the sign and that it is hidden so that you will not be able to see it from the front. So since each of these signs have a different shape, these tumbling tower pieces may be in different areas. Now it is time for us to put our signs together. We're going to hot glue the XO, which is hugs and kisses, on the left-hand side flush with the front, and then the love ya flush with the front and the right-hand side, and then the heart, we're gonna place that towards the back right behind the other two signs. So it should look like this. Then I'm gonna to go to the back side and hot glue the sides of the middle one down to the two front pieces. And I think this project turned out just absolutely adorable. Let me know what you guys think. For this project, you will need one of Dollar Tree's round signs. This one measures about 11 and 3 fourths of an inch in diameter. I have already painted one side with one coat of white chalk paint, and now I'm going to use my hair dryer to loosen up the glue so I can remove those stickers off the back side, sand that down, and then I can give this side a coat of white chalk paint. So it does end up taking two coats to get some full coverage on both sides. And we're gonna use a different set of Dollar Tree window clings. This has that super cute truck on there, so I'm going to add that as well as Love is Forever. And I'm going to attach these with the same method we did in our previous project by applying the Mod Podge and then going over that and sealing the window cling in with the Mod Podge and going over the entire sign to give it the same finish. Then I'm gonna take that oil-based Sharpie or any Sharpie will do once that Mod Podge dries and create a stitch border around the outside edging. I wanna create a bow and I'm gonna use this polka dot ribbon. I believe I found this at Walmart or maybe Hobby Lobby. I'm going to dovetail each end and it will measure about nine and a half inches. I'm also using some of Dollar Tree's red and white gingham ribbon as well as some of their white grow grain ribbon. So I'm gonna cut down about four pieces of these smaller ribbon that are gonna be slightly shorter than the black ribbon. I'm gonna dovetail each end and to make it easier, I just folded it in half and then folded the ends in half and cut both of those at the same time so that it would dovetail each end. So I'm gonna do that for all of the smaller ribbon. And then I'm gonna cut down another piece of the polka dot ribbon because I wanna create a bow to go in the center. So I just held that up to see about how long I needed to cut it. And then I can hot glue the two ends together to create a loop. So I'm just gonna add a bead of glue on the top and then hold that in place till it cools. 
and now you have this little loop. Then you're going to need a piece of twine to attach it all together. So I'm going to lay the black ribbon down, two of the gingham, two of the grain, and then alternate. And then on the top, I'm going to take that loop and pinch it together in the middle and make sure that I have the side that I glued down on the backhand side. So I'm going to place that directly on top of our bow, put our twine in the middle, flip it over, and then double knot it in the back, making sure you pull it really tight so it kind of pinches all of that together in the middle. And then pull all of your ribbon pieces out and fluff the loops or kind of pull up the loops of your front of your bow. Then I want to create a hanger on the back by using some hot glue and some twine and some pieces of that extra ribbon. And then we can glue our bow directly to the top of our sign. And I think this is so adorable, but I would love to know what you guys think. I hope you enjoyed today's projects, and if you have a favorite, let me know in the comment section down below. Thank you so much for spending time with me today. Please take care, and I will see you guys next time.